It's your turn. If the email was not about Benghazi, as you said yesterday and say again today, why did the White House turn it over to a conservative group seeking information about Benghazi? You would have to ask the State Department about how they responded to FOIA requests. I would again point you to the fact that, I mean, all you have to do is read it, Ed, right? Top line points, goals, that kind of stuff. The only mention of Benghazi in the email is a question about uh, what's your response to a story by the independent newspaper uh, in uh, the UK that says we have intelligence for we had intelligence for hours in advance of the attack that was ignored. Not aware of any actionable intelligence was the answer. And then what does it do? It cut and cuts and tastes the same uh, line from the CIA talking points that again was what Ambassador Rice used. So if it's not about Benghazi. Why turn it over in a Benghazi suit? It seems you would have to ask the uh, State Department about their process for responding to FOIA requests. Again, I, you can just read it and then decide for yourself, as many people have now said and written, like this is a conspiracy in theory and spur right. of a conspiracy. Well, the conservative group comes in and says, we want Benghazi documents. The administration says, this is not a Benghazi document, so we're not turning it over, right? I, again, I don't, like this is a State Department FOIA request uh, response. Department. Yeah, 